Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we are going to model some um, basic wall floor and roof and also uh, we are going to touch on some of these detail, detail items. Okay, so let's start. So I'm going to just close everything and okay, so let's start. First, let's create a, a project and uh, so let's place a wall. So um, oh, let's just place four. Four. Uh, I'm going to use a brick veneer timber. Okay, so it'll be something like this. And then, so uh, now you will see it's it's a solid feel. So you won't be able to see the the layers. This is because uh, currently it's a uh, coarse detail level. So if we change this to median or fine, so we will be able to see the layer. Okay, so now let's have a look of the layer, uh, the wall layers. Okay, so select one of the wall, edit type, and here structure, just click on this edit. So now you, you, you will see all these, so here on the layers. So the layers on the top, so you will see that this is um, exterior side. So this is the exterior of the wall, okay? And then any layer under this will be the interior. So for example, this one, uh, uh, I, I want to add a, a plaster ball uh, for the inside. So what we need to do is we can just um, you can select any of layer and then click insert and then it will create a layer here. So you will see this one. This is the one we a uh, new layer. And then we just need to move it down and down. So now it's outside of this uh, the core boundary. So on this side, on the interior side. Okay, so change this to finish. Okay, so this is quite important. Change this to finish. So the only the structure should be one, and all the finish uh, fa uh layer should be either finish or finish four or finish five. So now let's give it a material. So I'm just going to use the gypsum wall, plaster wall, and okay, and give it a a thickness. So for number ten. And then that's it. So if I click OK, click OK, and you should be able to see the layer. Because currently we are uh, in 1 to 100. So the thickness of this line, uh, because of the thickness of line, we can't see. If we change this scale to, for example, 1 to 10, you will be able to see that line. Or if I change this back to 100, 100 you can also use the thin line tool, TL. So T L, so you can see the um, all the lines, and T L again, it will change back to uh, the 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 correct uh, line weight. Okay, so now this uh, this was correct. So um, so let me just show you another uh, one, uh, another example. So C. Uh, let's create another wall, so for example, internal wall, WA, and then, so we are going to start from this one, okay, start timber, timber start, so this wall, there's no finish on it, so if you go to uh, the structure and edit, you won't see anything here, so we can just insert, so this one, and go up, so this is for exterior side, uh, change this to four, give it a material, so yeah, and give it a thickness. And once again, insert down, change it to finish, and give it a material, give it a thickness. Finish, okay. So now we can just create an internal wall. So now if you, if you set the wall correctly, set the layer and the material correctly, so you will see all uh, let me just change to change the scale so you can you can see uh, see this stud so this is stud timber stud timber and the material of this structure 
is timber, so same material. So you will see they will automatically connect to each other, join, join to each other, and also same as uh, same to uh, the plaster board material. They are the same, so you won't see any line between them. Okay. So now um, let's have a look of so. Let's have a look of this section. So let me change this back to 1 to 100. So let's go to this section. So go to view. And this is the section of these walls. So the same. So currently it's coarse. So you can change this to median. So you, you will see all the layers and the same. If you type TL, you will be able to see all these lines. And a TL again. So uh, the lines quite thick so if you change the scale once again you, you will be able to see these lines okay so but I'll just change this back to um, depending on what uh, usually sections depending on what scale your building is so for example let me change it to 1 to 1 1 to 50 uh, we can't see that detail um, maybe I'll change it to 1 to 20 for now okay I'll just want to show you the the, the details that all the layers okay so okay so now let's just model something on top of this wall and also model a floor okay so let's go to 3d view you can do it on floor plans well but uh, it's a, it's the same it won't be a different so let's go create a roof and sometimes it will uh, show warnings uh, won't allow you to create a, a roof or floor in the 3d view you just need to go set work plan and use the use the level as work plan okay so for example i'll show you so if you pick uh, uh i can't pick uh maybe i need to uh, exit the the roof uh, c command so maybe um I'll just go to architecture set work plan and I'll pick the wall as a work plan. Okay. Now if I use the roof, it will tell me uh, I can't do it. Uh, I can't do a roof on this work plan. So I need to go back set the set the work plan to the level and then I can just create a roof. Okay, so now let's create a roof on level one. That's fine. So usually Usually I I will use pick wall. Okay, most of the time I'll use pick wall because it's it's easier to so you can select all these walls and then you can select all these edge. You can give it an overhand. So for example, I'll just type in 600 overhand and that's it. So you can attach if you want to, and then we'll see this. This is it. And let's go to um, section again. So where's my second? Yeah. So you will see uh, uh, maybe the internal wall don't need to attach the roof. Let's just detach it. And also maybe I'll just stop it at level one. Let's have a look at this wall. So now this wall is attaching the roof. Um, in reality, it won't be like this so maybe let, let's just tab select all these uh, exterior wall and detach top click on the roof and change the height so let's just change the height to level one okay so now let's have a look of this roof so for the roof actually you have two options so here so you can see that's rafter or truss so if you change to rafter so I think this is more uh, correct. Um, I think sh sh should should be like this, <laughs> um, because in reality it will be a, a start, a, a wall start here and it go, and then the brick will be like something like here, stop here. Okay. So uh, we will uh, let's uh, let's just do this. Okay, so 
so as you can see so these are the structure so what we need to do is we need to keep this the this, the wall start at this level we need to lower the brick and also this uh, the air gap so let's go select this wall go edit type and here so go preview so if it's a floor plan usually by default it's a floor plan section so just change this to a section and then you can zoom in here zoom into this and then you can edit click on modify and click on this so you will see you can highlight this click and and unlock it again the brick unlock it and click OK and click OK so now you, you can see these two handles uh, which means you can drag this down if you want so now this brick is sitting under the, the structure of the roof or oh, actually let me ch change this roof because this roof is a generic roof uh, there's no layers maybe I'll just change it to a timber structure so for number this one okay so imagine this is the rafter so it's the structure and then, then uh, here so what you can do is you can just leave it you can just leave it or if you don't want to see this line here you can go modify and join join the wall with the roof so this looks like um, not right uh, so you can use switch join order um, and then that's it okay of course I'm, I'm not sure which which way need to be but either you can always switch them so so I think it should be like this okay so now what's next okay so let's model a floor so same we can do it in floor plan oh sorry in 3d view floor and I'm going to use this floor okay so pick wall tab select um, okay so in the select these all these uh, sketch line again so you will have you will see this extend into wall to core option I will explain this uh, later so but for now let's just finish this wall now if we go to section so you can see this because we use pick wall and and also checked we we, we use that um, extend to core option so it it, it will automatically pick the the face of the core which in this wall is the this start okay so it's here so you don't need to manually adjust this scale this um, the boundary of this floor so all you need to do is you just go edit boundary so let's just open the 3d view and then select one of this and click on this so now uh, if you finish it and then go to section again so you will see it will automatically align to this edge so this is exterior face of the core okay so um, and also let me show you so when you have this option so pick wall and extend to core checked so you will um, need to make sure so if you if you, you need to make sure the the wall is uh, is properly the layer is all correct so for for example if I if I move uh, let me just move this to here so we can see this floor okay so let's just look at this uh, boundary of the floor so if you change so for example if I move this down into this uh, into this core boundary and okay and apply so you will see this floor will automatically uh, align to this okay so and then if I move this back so okay apply 
Okay, and also let me just quickly do a dimension here. So if I do a dimension, so for example, dimension the of the core of the uh, sorry surface of the core. So this is so we all know that when we dimension floor plans, so we always dimension the face of the core. So if you so if you change this one, oops, sorry. If you change the structure here. If you move, so for example, if you move this down and click OK, apply, even the dimension will change as well. So it's very important, just make sure only the structure, only the structure which uh, you want to to be dimensioned or uh, is, is in between these two core boundary. Okay, so Click OK, apply, all good. So now let's go back to 3D view again. Um, let's add some slab edge. So floor, slab edge. So I'll just use this uh, default one. So place it. And I like to place them separately. So I won't, so if I delete one, I won't delete any, uh, all of them. So Okay, so now let's have a look in section again. So because this slab edge is created onto this edge, so in reality it needs to go here to support the brick. So I'll select all of them. So let's just type in a thickness of the brick plus the gap uh, in uh, which I believe is 160. Okay, so now we can just uh, just drag the brick and the air gap down to to here. Okay, so um, yeah, so let's edit type. So let's zoom into here, edit, modify, click on this line, unlock. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to pick this. Oh, it's very hard here. Yeah. So again, you need to move your cursor to until it's uh, it change color. And OK, OK, so now you can just do this. Or you can select all the wall. And let me just have a look. So because this floor is 150 thick, thick so select all. Or you can use tab key, tab. OK, so uh, uh, here, sorry, negative 150. So, all good. And um, what's next? And also, uh, looks like if you want to change the profile of this uh, slab edge, you can go to it's under. So you just need to uh, maybe just have a look of edit type. So this is the profile name. Just remember this name, and you can go to on the family. Uh, will be profile and will be this one right click edit so this is the profile so usually uh, you need to VV and turn on all the reference plans and dimensions and okay so you will see all these are the uh, parameter so let me just quickly um, adjust this um maybe i'll just move this to here and change this to thickness and also i want to create another reference plan the dimension make it 150 and lock it and then i'll just copy this one to here and i'll drag this to here i'll trim it trim it trim it so yeah, I think this looks better. And also thickness, maybe I don't need this. Um, okay, let's have a test. All good? Uh, yeah, looks looks all good. So I think let's try this one. So I'll load this into the project, override. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, of course, depending on uh, what shape, or what type of uh, folding you're using. So, um, I think let's go back to 
the family here. So the one we're using, let, let's have a look of that type. The name of the type is 600 by 300. 600 by 300. Uh, doesn't look like 600, but let me change it to 300. Uh, doesn't work. So it looks like there's something's not right. So edit. Thickness. Oh, because uh, this one should be width. Okay, so load this back. Uh, apply. This time should be okay. So let's have a look test. So um, uh, where's my slab edge? So this one's 600 by, uh, maybe I'll rename it six, uh, 300 by. And if I want to, so for example, if I create a new one, I'll call it maybe 400 by 300. I'll change this to 400. Okay, does it change? Ah, oh, sorry. We need to edit type, change the 400. Yep, let me do a dimension. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so that's it. Um, and also, you will see this line here. Uh, it's because we don't have a material for them. So if you go change the material, I'll just use uh, the concrete. And then also this floor, I'll just use the same concrete. So if, as long as you use the same material, you will see they will uh, automatically join to each other. Okay, so then that's 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 it. So you'll see it's all good. And now I think the model should be okay. So for this part, and then you, you can start to add details. Okay, so for example, uh, if you want to add some brick, you can go use a repeating detail. Uh, sorry. What's that called? Repeating detail component. So you can just uh, do this. So usually, I'm not sure which side. Maybe that's ex external side. I'll just draw it. Do this. You can use spacebar to uh, flip it. So this will be the brick. Okay. And then if you need. So for example, whip holes, you can add field regions or mask regions and then do detail lines. You can also do uh, detail lines for the um, flashing or, you know, all these things. Okay. And then um, you can do timber, the start. So oh, bottom uh, plate, top plate. Yeah, that's top plate. You can either do, you know, you can do field region if you want to, but usually it's easier to do detail component. But I'll, I'll just quickly show you how to do, how to create a, a, a parametric detail component. So new family um, detail item. Okay, so detail item. So click over oh, oh, okay. So first you need to create some reference plan. So and then to dimension equal dimension dimension equal dimension so this will be the so for example height or uh, hang on, where's my oh sorry on the other screen I can call it uh, H for example or type yes okay so this one you can call it a uh, width type and then you can go start to create create uh, types. So for example, I'll just create a 45 by, by 90. So I'll just type a 45, 90, apply. Okay, so now this is the size. And then you can create. So you can either use fill region or mask region. Um, should be the same. So if your region, you can have colors, patterns. Mask region will be only uh, white. Okay, so and I'll just use mask region. So you can change different line weight and finish. And then do detail line. Uh, where's my detail line? Oh, only line. And then you can use, so for example, just light 
line. So this will be one of that. And then this is it. You can save as a family. So uh, I'll just save on my desktop. So I'll just name it for a uh, uh, start uh, timber start. Okay, uh, detail. Okay, so save load this back into the project and okay so we need to cancel it go to section and create you can create a detail component so this will be the uh, the start the top the bottom plate okay so and it's easier to create a Use, use this one to create a, a repeating de uh, detail component. So let's do it. Repeating edit type duplicate. We uh, so this is the brick. So it's this one. Let's call it a uh, start. Okay. So start. Okay. Change this to to find this one. Find this detail component, and then you can use a uh, maximum spacing. So um, I'm not sure, maybe uh, uh, one meter. <laughs> and also you can use inside rotation. I don't think we need rotation. Click OK. So let's try. Yep, that's it. So now you can just see as create similar and then that's it. So you'll see it will automatically create a more in the middle depending on the height. And um, yeah, I think that's that's it. And also, of course, insulation. You can just create insulation. And also, sometimes you need to adjust the, you know, you want to send back. Okay, so send back. And um, yeah, I think that's 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 it. So for example, I'll add another one. So CS. You can pick line as well. So quite easy. You can do uh, insulation. You can pick line as well. So and send back, and then that's for the internal wall. And if you change this one, so for example, I change it to twelve hundred. I think uh, it won't change, but sometimes depending on what the height is, so you will see it will automatically place multiple. Uh, what are these called noggings in the middle? Okay, so that's that's it. Um, yeah, it's more details, and I think I'll stop here. If you have any question, please let me know. Um, let's do a quick section box. So, because uh, if you model the the mod, if model the walls and floors properly, you can. Uh, I think it's good for you to, you know, even sometimes you want to show some 3D details. So if you model them properly, so uh, let me just quickly so change this to top top extend uh, extension distance negative maybe 150. Yeah, join them. Oops. Yes, yeah, so let me have a look. So sometimes times when you touch, just touch a little bit. It you won't be able to join them, okay? So if you, so for example, negative 155, so it's either join a little bit more or not touching at all. So, and then you can join them. And also you can switch join. Okay, so all good. Um, if you have any question, please let's, let me know. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.